Hey you guys, how you guys doing? Now just to let y'all know, I'm on my old camera so if this footage doesn't look as crisp, as clear, I have my um, my newest camera wrapped up, ready to go to Texas, packed up and suited and booted, girl. We are now a few days out from my trip to Texas, and I'm going to get to why I've, I've taken a little bit of time off of vlog, because if you guys saw, I posted on um, YouTube, it's been only a week, I think. By the time I posted it, it'll, it'll be a while. I posted that, you know, I have to take some time off, do some, some family issues. It's not my immediate family, just to let y'all know, but it has to do with, deal with my parents and extended family. So, <clears throat> I've been calling my mom a lot often because, I mean, I'm going back to Texas. And so, I'm just letting her know, you know, what's going on. And the, the main reason why I'm going, y'all, is for my high school reunion. However, I'm going to be seeing my best friend one day before we go out to Longview. And then um, just spend time with my family. And so, you know, I've just been calling my mom a lot more often. So, um, 30 minutes into the conversation, she's like, so y'all, I'm being, I'm whispering because it's early. I haven't been sleeping well, so I've been getting up at like 3 o'clock in the mornings. So anyway, I'm sorry, I just want to let you know why I'm whispering. So, my mom is like, like I said, 30 minutes into the, into the conversation. She's like, did your sister call you? I'm like, no, she didn't call me. And she says, well, your father has cancer. I'm like, what? She's like, well, yeah, he had his yearly prostate um, exam. And I guess whatever test they run, um, his numbers were high, PBA. P I don't know the exact terminology, excuse me. But the numbers were extremely high. And when it's typically they high, they have to run additional testing. And it turns out that it's prostate cancer. And y'all... When she told me that, I was like, what? And so I'm like, okay. And she goes on to say they caught it in time, though. And so in the following weeks, they're going to look into his options to go ahead and treat it. So I was like, okay, fine. But I was tore up. I mean, when I got off that phone, I cried for like, seemed like forever. JB, I, JB was here too. So I tried not to cry in front of my child, y'all. So I was in the back crying. And poor thing, he came back there. <laughs> so sweet. He made a flower out of Legos. And I started crying at that, you know, just so I did the one thing you're not supposed to do. I went on Google, researched some stuff, and apparently prostate cancer is seems to be very common with men over the age of 50. My parents are young. My mom is 58. I think it's young, 58. My dad just turned 60 in August. He's a Leo like me. Um, and so what am I trying to say? There's literally almost a million men in the U.S. alone that have had cancer, uh, prostate cancer and they go on to live. So I guess my point is it's one of those type of cancers to where, um, it's, it's fairly common, unfortunately, especially here in the States. And however, it's something that they can easily treat. But it's just the thought of that, of him having to go through that and just another thing to have to go through. Um, so that happened. I was upset about that. Then the next morning she calls me and I'm like, oh my God, what is it now? And she called me early. And you know, whenever someone, a family member calls you before eight o'clock, you know, it's not good news. So then she tells me through, she's crying. I'm like, oh my God, please don't tell me my father, my daddy's died. So she tells me that, um, my aunt suddenly died. Um, I'm like, What? Now, this aunt also has cancer. Now, y'all, I've spoke about this before. I'm trying not to get emotional. I've spoken about this before to where cancer runs rampant on my, excuse me, my mother's side of the family. My, now, my dad is the first person to have had cancer on his side. The first, actually, that's a lie, second, second. But it's a fairly large family. So... My aunt had ovarian and lung cancer. However, she was seeking treatment. She was on chemo. She wasn't on hospice. What, and I asked my mom, I said, well, what happened? So apparently they were at the boat and out in Shreveport. Those of you who don't know, uh, the boat is basically um, 
y'all from the country, y'all know what it is. The boat is, you can't gamble in Texas. So people in, in East Texas especially go over to Louisiana, which is not that far. Louisiana is like 30 minutes from Longview, East Texas, 30 minutes to an hour. Um, and so they go on the boat to go camp, to go gambling. So they were on the boat and she wasn't feeling well, took her to the hospital and she passed away. And I'm like, what? So, you know, when I was speaking... I was telling my husband about it, you know, he's like, I, maybe it's a heart attack, because she was older. She was almost 70 years old. And I just, heart attack, it, we don't know what it was, but it wasn't, it, it wasn't cancer. It was either a heart attack or a stroke. And I haven't really, um, I haven't really talked to my mom about it, because she gets so upset. And, are we going to be there? I, I think some family members are still going to be there. When we get there, for the because I have family coming from all over um, for the funeral, so yeah, y'all. I mean, I've been praying. I've been because I was upset. I I normally don't get into the anger phase when stuff happens to me. Uh, I'll probably have a moment today, but I, you can't you can't stay in that space. You know what I mean? I'm a wife. I'm a mother. I gotta I gotta live. So. Um, you, some people allow, you know, the grieving to literally take over and saturate their life. And I can't, I can't do that right now. It, it, it will stress me out. So <sighs> today, <laughs> today we have a couple of things to do. Um, I don't want to do a lot because I don't want to have one of those vacations where you need a vacation after your vacation because you did so much stuff. Y'all, that is so not good. You know, that's why I try to have staycations as often as possible. Um, but I don't want to be tired after my vacation. So one thing I always do, I always schedule a day before I actually travel. And then I schedule a day after I travel off. So that way I can have that time to relax. Even though I work from home, but I'm tired, hell. So I literally told myself every day up until the vacation, uh, we leave. I'm only going to do two things. So today we're going to go get Jamie's haircut and he want to go to Chuck E. Cheese's. So I'm like, okay, we'll go to get your haircut, go to Chuck E. Cheese's. We may go out to eat and that's it. And then tomorrow we have to run errands. I got to go to Petco and then I got to, I'm going to show you a clip later on. I got to return some luggage that my husband bought. Y'all, this ninja thought that he could buy he bought some big ass luggage. Me just looking at it, I was like, you you gotta be kidding me. He thought he I'm like, that is not gonna be able to be a carry-on. We're gonna get carded, suited, and we African, or well, at least half of us. Hell no, we, we don't need any extra attention right now. <laughs> and my husband doesn't even look. He looks most people who meet him for the first time, especially when he was younger, they assume that my husband is Indian or from whatever. I've gotten, uh, he's gotten Pakistan. He actually has had an Indian follow him around the store to ask him what part of India he's from. <laughs> yeah, just taking it easy. Like I said, I like to come home to a clean, I don't know if I said it, but I like to come home to a clean house when I'm on vacation. The last thing I want to do is straighten it up a house once we get back. So I'm gonna take Monday and Tuesday to clean the house. I mean, I keep things in order. I mopped this morning, but my, I'm looking around y'all, sorry. But Monday and Tuesday to clean the house. Then Monday, I'm gonna detangle my hair in preparation for my um, blowout. And then uh, Tuesday, I'm gonna blow out my hair. So I may do a chit chat video for y'all on Monday, depending on how I feel, but don't, don't hold me to that, y'all. Don't hold me to it. Hey, you guys. Let me see. Where are we at? Okay, when I get home, I'm going to have to go ahead. This SD card. I don't know what's wrong with this SD card. I've only been recording for... I don't know how long I've been recording. But anyway. <laughs> hold on, y'all. I want to check back. See. Got my nails done. Do y'all see them? I got... I picked out a very... In my opinion, this is a neutral color. But it has some color. First of all, Tina and Tom. Y'all already know. I have my little stories about Tina and Tom. And I know some of y'all will probably be like, why do you keep going to them if you always complain? Because they do a damn good job. And I'm really particular about my nails. And they know my shape. They know my favorite colors. They keep a little color in the drawer for me. Yeah, so speaking of the color, I haven't even picked out my color since damn near March. Because they always pick out the color for me. Sorry, I'm looking around. They always pick out a color for me. 
Because apparently they know what I like. That I can't pick out what I want. And I, I don't have time to argue with them. So today, Tina did my nails. Tom was back there eating or something. So Tina does my nails and she's like, um, you pick new color. This, this boring. Cotton candy, boring. I'm like, maybe I want boring cotton candy. What the hell? My whole get up was to get cotton candy and a little sparkle on the index finger. But I, like I said, I ain't got time to be arguing with someone who has a drill in their hand. So she's like, you pick new color. I said, okay, fine. I said, I'll pick a, um, I'll pick something um, purple or something later on, girl. I'll pick up something purple, right? So I said, well, Tina, do y'all do brows here? Because I'm, I'm interested in this. She said, oh, yeah, you need it done. I'll, I'll do it. You, you need it. I'm like, that, that was a yes or no question. You don't have to add, I, I need to get it done. So I let her do it, y'all. But I think she took off a little too much. Girl, so, <laughs> let me look at them. My eyebrows are already sparsity, whatever the hell you want to call it, sparsity or whatever the hell. Hmm, so what I'm going to do is I have two, I have a couple of eyebrow pencils that are my favorite. Um, I have them at home, but I'm going to go and see if, two styles, I'm sorry, but CoverGirl. I'm going to go see, I'm next to Walmart. I'm really, I'm at Sally's. My budget is 15 Mm, that's what we saying, fifteen dollars, and I'm gonna go over to Walmart. That's a couple of things I did. Tina was fast as hell. That's another thing, reason why I like them. She did my nails and my brows at thirty minutes flat. Child, that drill was on some damn sorcery. She was, she was fast. I'm like, what are you? There ain't nobody waiting, but she wants to get me up to get another seat in. I, I understand the hustle. Oh, let me look at my brows. I guess she did good, y'all. It, it, she, she took a little bit too much off on the on the ends here on the tail, but I can draw those in. I can pencil those in. Really, let's go down my um ethnic line. They sell weave now. Get you a uh, alpha G's usually over here. Fifty percent off on texture ID. Never again. Never again. I was so obsessed with laying out edges, hick edges, no ma'am. Y'all, okay, I'm on my way to the fingerprint clearance card, whatever the hell. Let me look up the directions. I told you this man's gonna drive me crazy. Didn't I didn't I tell y'all? So he decided today that he wanted to buy some new luggage. Look at this damn luggage. Look, look at this. Hold on. Look at this. Do you see all this? So I'm good at eyeballing stuff. I could look at something and tell, okay, that you know, that's why I can cook. No measurements. So I'm looking at this. It's sitting on the bed because he just got it. I'm like, what the hell is this? He said, oh, this is my carry-on. I said, the hell it is? This is too big. That's too big. And so I'm looking at it. It says 26, 24, 26 inches. That is too big. You can't put that. So he was like, no, we can just tell him it's 22. The hell? I'm not telling them a damn thing. We, you can't lie at an airport. That's a federal offense. <laughs> child i'm like well, give me the receipt what's the receipt i'll go see this is what i'm talking about this is why let me calm down this is why he should have done things last week yeah. y'all have to excuse the air because it's hot I'm going to turn it down some of you so I can hear me only for a minute. That was exactly what I needed, y'all. There was an AJ's right here next to the fingerprint place. And he cooked that burger to order. Y'all, it's hot. Sorry. He cooked that burger to order. Hold on, y'all. And it was delicious. Um, the guy was really entertaining, making small talk really good. It's classic extrovert girl. But I got a burger with pepper jack cheese, jalapenos, and mushrooms. That he gave me extra mushrooms. Oh, yeah, that means for dinner, I literally, I've been craving a burger, but I think I've been craving beef or meat or whatever nutritional value that's in beef. So I even asked my husband to pick up some beef. So I would um, probably just eat that with on top of a salad because that was a bit much. Yeah, girl, everything in moderation. Y'all, it's, it's three o'clock and my nerves are done. So one of the reasons why I don't like living out here, the heat. Let me tell you something. Between, I went grocery shopping. I stopped by Walgreens real quick, went to go get JV, check my mail. Why are all of the salads done? They're hot. Throw it all away. The chicken is still cold, but I don't trust it. I immediately put it all in the freezer. They raise the temperature back up. I gotta go out and buy at least $40, $50 more of food. Like literally, I opened up the spinach and it was warm. Right, JV? The spinach was warm. Yeah. Spinach warm. 
was completely blue. Like, what the hell? Like, I've never, what's the temperature? 107 degrees. Yeah. Oh my God. I don't like living in Phoenix. Oh Lord. Jack pot. Look at the price of this. Look at the price of this. I'm about to get me a bunch of stuff. At least three of these and at least these are also 125. Two of these. Masons. Oh yes. Hey you guys. This is what I'm wearing today. Um, Y'all have seen me wear this before. I have about five summer dresses that I rotate. It is strapless. Yes. My yes. first my yes. first strapless yes. dress. Really, really cute. Um, this says is a medium, but it runs, clearly it runs big. Because this is, looks like a large. If this is the case, I could have gotten a small because it's very big at the bottom. And I just have this thing over it. And I have on these huge hoop earrings. My and my hair is just up like that. Hold on, baby. Um, yes, I am serving you. Yes, I'm a mom, but I can also be cute and fashionable. Let me turn the camera around. JB, we may need to give you a, a facial. No. What is going on? Hold on, y'all. What is this? All right. My What's my makeup. <laughs> you gonna see mommy do a facial later on, okay? My makeup seems a little ashy in my opinion. I feel like it's ashy because I packed all my makeup. All my well, that's not an excuse. I didn't pack all my makeup. Yeah, um, nose. I know why. I know why. The brush I used had that banana powder on it. Can you tell? It's okay, girl. I'm going to sweat a little bit. You know, it's still better than what I looked like before. So, I'm already tired. I can feel it. So, we're going to be back by noon. It's it's 8 o'clock. 8, 9, 10. Yeah, we're going to be out for about four hours. All right, y'all. We ran to Walmart. Just dropped off the luggage for my husband. Look, he's staring at the luggage. <laughs> when I get to the exchange at customer service, the lady there, I go there so much, they know who I am. She's like, oh, this is not a carry-on. I said, I know that. You ain't got to tell me, girl. <clears throat> so, I take it to my hey, husband. Hey, baby, Calm hey. down. So, I show my husband the carry-on. And he's staring at me like he doesn't believe me. I'm like, it says carry-on. On the actual picture. I, I'm not making it up. Like, why would I? So, I told him, I said, at this point, we may want to consider checking in one piece of luggage. So that we don't... <sighs> Yeah, so anyway. Two pieces of luggage. No, that's going to be, that would be $200. Oh, Y'all, that's crazy. So anyway, we, we may need to check in one because my carry-on is at its breaking point. Like, I when I looked for my carry-on, I specifically hey, typed in. It. Hold on, y'all. <laughs> I specifically typed in oh, carry-on. Carry <laughs> I had to lock the doors. I ain't got time for this child. So let, let's go ahead. We're going to go ahead. I locked my door. We're going to go ahead and go get his child's haircut. I'm allowing his hair to grow out because I want him to have a tapered Ooh, fro. Um, and that's it, you guys. What is wrong with this ear? Ooh, Hold on, y'all. Oh, y'all, that scared me. I thought that my earring had gone all the way through. And you know what? These, I'm very particular about my earlobes, y'all. These are so heavy that it's kind of making my earlobes hang down a little bit. I don't like when I see people who have stretchy earlobes and they got what? They have hyper allergies to fake stuff. So they got bumps and stuff. So, yeah, I will probably not wear these earrings again. Let me go ahead and take them off because they're stretching my um earlobes and that's not cute so yeah all right y'all we're gonna go ahead and after this we're gonna go um where we're we gonna go after we get your haircut boo boo um go to sedona Ch chop <laughs> we would what do you want to do besides get a butt whooping Ooh, hold on y'all you see this fish? <laughs> Ooh, wanna go to the mall? Today? Yeah. Or do you wanna go to We'll figure it out, baby, okay? We'll figure it out. Ooh. Did you figure it out? I want to go to the mall because of the toilet candy. Because of the what? Toilet candy that I bought. Toilet. Alright y'all, so we are out here at Party Jungle. 